Hello. <laughs> How you doing? My name is Tale Alimi and today I'm going to be sharing with you five mindsets that are going to make you wealthy this year. Okay, it's 2021 and I know that 2020 had come with all sorts of uncertainties. I mean, it changed life as we know it. We are living in interesting times right now. Uh, with just, you know, so many things happening, the second wave of coronavirus and all sorts of things. And sometimes when you're in uncertain times, you f you find it difficult to even dream or even, uh, even reach for more, okay? But today, I want to share five mindsets that are timeless, really timeless. So I want to encourage you to stay till the end of this video. Don't tune up. Get all the five mindsets and tell me which of them is your favorite and which of them you're going to walk towards, okay, and do something about this year. Okay. So my very first mindset that I want to share with you is something that has helped me to create three multi-million businesses, okay, out of virtually nothing. You know, one day I'm going to share the story of the business I've created and how I started. But today it's about the mindset. And the first mindset is I have all I need right now to start. Okay. I have all I need right now to start. And I'm telling you the truth. That is a powerful mindset. That is a powerful abundant mindset because the truth is Sometimes you feel like, you know, maybe if you lost your job or if all your savings has gone away or if just generally things are hard, it's like, do I have what I need to start or you, you, you can focus on what you don't have or the scarcity. But then if you focus on what you have, okay, then from that place, your possibilities just open up. Now, there's one scripture I, I read in the Bible, and that scripture sort of blew my mind. And it was the scripture where Jesus Christ said that he who has more will be given unto him, and he who does not have even that which he has will be taken away. Now, look at that second part. Even that which he has will be taken away. What that means definitely is that everybody has something. It's just that the difference between those who end up having and those who don't have is that those who end up having recognize what they have. Okay, so the first thing you need to say, the first mindset you develop this year, no matter what's happening around you, is to say, I have what I need to start. Okay, you have what you need to make this year your best year yet. You have what you need to up level, like my t-shirt says. You have what you need to, no matter what the obstacles or the things that, you know, come your way, you have what you need to take it to the next level this year, you know. And from that place, you can go on to create amazing things. So let me tell you a short story. I remember when I wanted to start my business coaching business. Okay, I had a really little laptop, you know, and I had uh, left my corporate job. And I was feeling a bit uncertain, like, oh my God, what do I have to start? And I just felt inspired to say, you know what? Do you have your knowledge? You've worked over a decade in, in corporate Nigeria. Um, you started different side businesses. You have this small laptop. You have what you need to start. And what can you do? And one of the things I did well most of my career is I, 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 I sold. I worked in corporate sales. You know, I helped people to grow their businesses. And I knew that I had those skills. And I knew that I like to teach and communicate. So I decided. I was going to take that knowledge. I was going to teach other people how to do it. And that's how I started my business coaching business. Just with just the basic things I had. And not a lot of cash. And from there, I was able to transform that and build a million business in the multi-millions. You know, touching over 3,000 um, small businesses and people who wanted to start their small businesses. And that's it. So it's not really about what you don't have right now. It's about recognizing that you have what you need to start. Isn't that inspiring? I think it is. I think it is. So let me go to my second point. Wait a minute. I have to look at my notes. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, I can create valuable solution and get monetary reward for it. Did you hear me? Which I can create valuable solutions 
and get monetary rewards for it. That's the second mindset you have to have this year. So it's not about, like I said in the first thing, what you don't have. It's about what can you do? How can you serve? A lot of times when we're going through distressing times, you know, you won't have, we'll have a bit about it. Oh, why me? Oh, things are hard. Oh, things are challenging. But then you can just shift your perspective and decide that you can actually create valuable solutions that can bring monetary reward. So really, really leading from the first part, you have what you need to start. So with what you have, what can you create, okay? Who needs something? What solution can you bring to other people? Okay, maybe you have a skill right now uh, as you're watching me. Maybe you have a skill right now. You just, you're very good at something. Maybe you're just good at writing or creating content or maybe you're just a good ideas person and everything. You There's something that you have that can be valuable to other people. So you have to believe it, that you have what it takes to create valuable solutions that can, you know, give you monetary rewards, help you serve people. People are going to be saying, thank you. Oh, thank you. You know, you changed my life. You know, that solution you, you proposed, that thing you helped me do. I mean, and let me tell you, don't even ignore the little things you know how to do and you, you, you do easily because there's just so many things that right now you might know how to do and you do easily. You might take it for granted. I want you to step back and look at it. What is that thing that people say, oh, wow, you do it so easily? Like, what are those things, you know? Those are the things that you can use to create valuable solutions that will give you monetary reward. Now, this point also helps you make you, makes you focus not on yourself, but on solving problems because if you feel... I have what I need to create valuable solutions. So you're not focusing on yourself anymore. You're focusing on solving problems, okay? You're focusing on serving people. You're focusing on giving value. And that is so important, you know. Currently, I run a financial technology startup. Uh, that's one of the things I do to add value to people, to create valuable solutions. And we're constantly asking ourselves, how can we serve the people? Who are we meant to serve? What do we have that can add value? And from that perspective, we continue to grow as a company. So you must always believe that you actually are able to create valuable solutions that can give you what? Financial reward. That's point number two. So don't go away. We have, I have three more points to go. And the third point is, I am committed to up level my t-shirt i'm going to tell you about my book uh by the end of this uh broadcast i'm committed to up level in all the areas of my life i want to be better okay i am committed so the key word is committed okay you've got to be committed so he's wanted to say oh i would like to do this this year and another thing to say i am committed to it so imagine it's different for someone to say oh i would like to lose weight i someone to say i am committed to it okay now, the word commitment compels you to take action, all right? The word commitment kind of pushes you to say, you know what? What do we need to do? So maybe I'm going to, um, to lose weight. Am I going to you know, change my diet? Am I going to start exercising? Am I going to, is it going to be a lifestyle change? What, so, you know, it pushes you to begin to take action. So that's the third thing. You must be committed to up level in the areas of your life uh, that you want to be better at this year. Okay, so think about it. Now, don't think of, oh, I would like to bot. No, 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 don't think about the bots. Remember I said point number one, you have what you need to start. Okay, so think about it. What is it that you want to do better this year? This year, I want to do videos better. Okay, I want to create content that will empower you, will inspire you, will cause you to up level. So please give me your feedback and give me like tips on how you think I can make my videos better. You know, I really appreciate your tips, your, your, you know, things like that, your feedback. Please make it engaging, share my videos because that's one of my commitments this year. I want to make better videos that are going to up, help you up level, that are going to inspire you, that are going to empower you. To become the best version of yourself this year. To become the more wealthier version. What I call your version 2.0. Much more improved. Much more inspiring. Okay. That is my commitment. And I am going to stick to that commitment by the grace of God. And of course with your support. Because I need your support. Share this video. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Give me tips to improve. I want to keep getting better. So those are the ways that I am committed to making it happen. Okay, so my fourth point, 
I choose to see opportunities and take advantage of them. I choose to see opportunities and take advantage of them. Did you hear me? I choose to see. And you know why that point is very important? Because I don't know about you. You know, I live in a big city in Lagos, Nigeria. And maybe you're on the road. Somebody just blocks you in traffic or just something has happened. There's just a propensity to want to complain and say, oh, my God, things are not going well. But if you change your mindset to say, okay, you know what? Where is the opportunity within this challenge? Okay. So I remember when we decided to start our fintech. Uh, um, company, I've been working as a business coach for a couple of years with small businesses and I saw them get to a point where they wanted to grow their, their businesses but they couldn't get access to finance and I was like, why? And so I approached a couple of financial institutions to say, okay, what can we do? What can we do? But a lot of them at that time were not forthcoming. Things have changed now because they've seen the opportunity but they were not forthcoming. So I realized that I can create something okay? I can, this is an opportunity. I can't you know, I can continue to complain that they're not responding or I can choose to see opportunities and make the best of it. So even right now, you might be on a lockdown wherever you are. You might be restricted wherever you are. Maybe your career is not going the way you plan it or this is not going the way you plan it or you've been laid off or you've lost customers. What opportunities can you see in the midst of whatever you're going through right now? What opportunities can you see in your environment right now? I mean, I had a friend who, because of the lockdown, all of a sudden they said the business where they were delivering food to other people, okay? And that business just blew up because all of a sudden people didn't want to go out to shop because they were scared, but then he already had some sort of infrastructure. So he just tweaked his infrastructure and, you know, made it into something that he could uh, use to deliver food to people. They began to order on his app online and voila, the business blew up. So you must program your mind this year if you want to be a wealthier to see opportunities because they're everywhere around you. You just need to open your eyes. <laughs> Look at my eyes, like cut eyes, like the way I did it, yeah? So you just need to open your eyes and see because there is, there are opportunities all around you and I want you to be wealthy at this year. And you have to see the opportunities and take advantage and grab it, grab it, grab life as it is because, you know, we only have one life to live. You know what? <laughs> you have to make the best of it. And so my final point, okay? I will invest in myself this year and surround myself with people who will push me to be better. I will invest in myself this year. You are your greatest asset, okay? If you want to go from where you are to where you need to be, you need to invest in yourself. I always say that the difference between where you are and where you need to be is a knowledge gap. Okay, and you need to invest in yourself to fill that knowledge gap. Invest in resources, invest in the right mentors, invest in the right coaches, invest your time and watch videos like this for free and apply what you're learning. So invest in yourself. Okay. Decide and come is this is your mindset. I must invest in myself and then and surround myself with people who push me to be more. And you know the amazing thing about it with so many online communities right now. You, you don't have a scarcity of people to surround yourself with. I'm trying to build a community called the Up Level Communities, a Facebook group. I'm going to try and put the link below. So I want you guys, please come in there and let's build it together. You know, so join, surround yourself with people who push you to be better, okay? Who, who hold you accountable, you know, make it happen. The truth is that you are a an average, I think it's Brian Jesus that said that, about of the five people that you, make your, you surround yourself with. I think somebody also said that if you want to know how rich you can be, Check the, your five closest friends. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I mean, I was listening to, I think it was Les Brown the other day. He said he sucks his friends. When he realized that, they are a prediction of how rich he could be. So, I don't know. I'm not saying sack your friends, but I'm saying that you have to be deliberate this year to invest in yourself. Okay? If you do the work, the work works. I always say that. If you do the work, the work works. And I always say that what you want, wants you. Okay? You just need to grow to the version of you that can receive it. Okay? Take a positive thing about it. What you want, wants you. You need to grow to the version of you that can receive it. So, for example, you said this year your world goal is to make $1 million, $10,000, $100,000, you know, uh, whatever it is. 
what you want actually wants you. It's available for you. There is no scarcity in this world. There's an abundance. And mostly abundance is available for people who are adding value and creating solutions. Okay? And so I created a resource. First of all, I had a book called Up Level. That's my first book. So the book was to help people who had a gift like you, okay, who have a passion like you, to find your niche, to share your stories, build your tribe, and to convert it into something profitable. And I wrote a second book this year. It's called Up Level 2.0. Now, Up Level 2.0's uh, tagline is, it's time for more, meaning that it's time for you to take whatever it is that you're doing to the next level, okay? So if you have only one stream of income, it's time for two streams of income, three streams of income, okay? If you are, have been living an average or mediocre life, it's time to, you know, ramp it up, ramp it up, ramp it up. You might be scared of, of should, I, should, I, should I change things? I mean, I, mean, well, I had a training in November and a lady told me, she said, you know what? I'm scared of changing things. Things are working okay right now. It's not where I want to be, but I'm just scared that if I make a move, I'm going to flop. So she says, I'd rather just stay. But I said to her, your comfort zone, which is where you are right now, is a terrible place where dreams go to die. If you want to go to your next level, you have to be willing to reach your next level. So it's really time for more. So I'm going to put the link to my book, Up Level 2.0, it's time for more. I teach you the mindset the strategies and the practical action plan, okay, to gain more abundance and success, especially in changing times like we are right now. So I like to encourage, it's a digital book. So anywhere you are in the world, you can buy the copy of that book and read the book. Remember, I commit, all right? I commit, that's point number three. So you need to commit, don't just buy the book, commit to read the book and do the work. And I will guarantee you, 2021, this year, or whatever you see this video, will be your best year yet because you chose to take action. You chose to apply these five mindsets that are going to make you wealthier this year. I hope this video inspired you. Tell me which of the points was your favorite point when you watched the video. And like I said earlier, we're we'll going to need together. Me and you, you're going to help me improve my videos because I'm committed <laughs> to making more videos this year. So, Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, share the video with your community on other social media platforms, and give me your feedback in the comments below, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.